And joining us now exclusively is Matthew Garcia, who was with Lucas that morning. Matthew, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm so sorry. I know this is still so fresh. Yeah, um, it happens. Life. It's part of life. It's so sad. L let's talk about this. I know that you and Lucas were college roommates for the last three years, mm -hmm. friends since high school, yep. both loved the water. How did that morning start out? Well, the mornings are kind of eerie. I mean, we woke up at like 5 o'clock, and I looked out my balcony window, and it's just the moon was just red. It was a full moon. It was kind of just red. And it was right in front of the window, and it's just kind of odd. It's never usually there. But uh, we kind of just got up, and we decided that we were going. Good morning. Was he excited for, for oh, a morning? Oh, he was out? up before I was. He was stoked because, I mean, we hadn't had big waves for months and months and months and months, and he was... He was ready. So you were out there like 45 minutes, everything was great, and then mm -hmm. what? And then it was just like a ninja just came through and just took him underwater kind of. I mean, it was, it was very stealth-like. You would never think anything was wrong. It was very placid and calm. And even he said it was kind of eerie that it was so perfect today. And just out of nowhere, like, um, people refer to the Great Whites as the man in the gray suit. And that's kind of exactly what it was. It was just kind of in and out of the water real smooth, real majestic, and it were you was very, quite were you fast. out very far? Um, probably about 100 yards. It was, it was where the waves were breaking the best, right over a sandbar. Okay. And it's typically where all the other surfers go. Did you see it happen? Yeah, mm -hmm. and 100%. What, what, did, what did you do in that moment? Right when it happened, at first, I mean, I couldn't do much because we were about where you are. I was a little bit closer, actually, to him. And as it grabbed him, it kind of like pushed me out of the way. And, all of a sudden, he went from being two feet away to being six feet away. My goodness. And it was kind of, it was kind of odd. Are you convinced it was a great white? Well, I mean, they have distinguishing marks, and such as uh, a lot of great whites have uh, their own type of sp white spots on them mm. that distinguish, like, all great white sharks. They're, they're, uh, for each individual great white shark, they're all different. There's, it's like our fingerprints. Yeah. And, yeah. So let's talk about when you first saw Matthew, I mean Lucas, after the, <laughs> sorry, after the shark attack. What did you see? Could you tell right away that, that he was not in good shape? Well, I, I mean, typically from a uh, shark attack, you, you know someone's not going to be in great shape. So right when it happened, I knew that it wasn't going to turn out well. I knew right then. But so, right after I seen him, it was kind of like, it was just an eerie sight. Describe it. It was kind of... Uh, if you've seen horror movies, multiply it by like 10 or 15 or even more than that. My goodness. So you got him, somehow you managed to get him back to the shore, get his body back to shore. Mm -hmm. Was he still alive then? Well, he was kind of floating in the water. I mean, after he got hit, I, the set was coming because we were looking out into the, into the distance and we're like, hey, there's a set coming. He's like, he was happy. It was, mm -hmm. it was nice. It was the biggest set of the day, I think. And uh, after I got hit, I came up and he was coming over a wave. Because the second, the second he'd popped up and the second wave was coming, that's when the wave was just completely red. And he was at the top of the wave and went over the falls. The wave was completely red. Yeah. So how, how would you like him to be remembered this morning? Lucas should be remembered as a kid that was larger than life. I mean, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be sad about his death. Yes, it is tragic, but we should celebrate his life and celebrate what he meant to everyone around him and how he made everyone just feel amazing all the time. Very nice words. Matthew Garcia, again, we're so sorry and thank you. Mm -hmm.